everybody, welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you all for your support as the channel is growing. Thank you for the comments. I'm trying to take it all into consideration so I can improve my videos moving forward. Uh, we're a couple months away from getting back to the boat. Uh, I'm real excited for that. That way we can get back into making sailing videos once again. Um, but today I'm in my parents' garage and uh, here I've laid out all my camera gear. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get you guys a closer look into what I've been using. And uh, so let's go ahead and just dive right into it. So the newest camera to the group is the Sony RX105 uh, Cybershot. Now I did some research on the internet and found that this is an excellent camera for uh, content creators such as myself. It's not that user friendly, uh, however it's got some really nice features. Uh, it will shoot in ultra high def 4K. Uh, it has the, the flip up screen uh, and uh, multiple other features that I'm not exactly sure uh, what do what yet. Uh, I've never really been into uh, cameras before this. Uh, however, as I move forward, I'm going to have to learn what it does because I'm sure it's going to be quite a powerful tool. Now this is a DJI Ronin SC gimbal. Now this is for uh, my Sony Cybershot camera. Um, it is a bit oversized for the camera that I use. However, uh, it still is able to utilize such a light camera. It would be better better suited for something a little larger so here we have the gopro 6 this is where it all started i record in 1080p 30 frames per second it is capable of much more than that but due to storing data and uh, the lack thereof that i had previously uh, i chose to go with a smaller data file it is waterproof i believe it's up to either 30 feet or uh, 30 30 yards 30 meters um, however, being that it was my only camera, I was a little hesitant to put it underwater. Uh, I have gotten another camera since then, so maybe we'll start seeing some more underwater shots. For the GoPro, I utilize the GoPro Karma Gimbal. Uh, this is actually very easy to use. It's set up for uh, just the, the GoPro itself, so you can't be attaching any other cameras to this as far as I know. However, uh, this has been super handy uh, for nice stable shots. Like I said, very easy to use super convenient for my aerial shots what I've been using is the Mavic Air 2 drone by DJI this is a super easy to use drone folds up into a nice compact size which makes it really convenient for storing on the sailboat I never flew a drone before I had this one and it's really user friendly uh, so I recommend it to anybody who's looking to get into uh, flying some drones it's excellent. I can't say enough good things about it. So I bought the Fly More package, which comes with two extra batteries, three extra sets of props, a set of filters, and a nice carrying bag. Being new to content creation, I didn't realize how quickly memory would become an issue. It didn't take very long before my laptop was completely maxed out and running extremely slow. So what I've recently invested in is an external hard drive. This is a five ter terabyte WD external hard drive, just picked up from Best Buy. Uh, didn't cost very much and it's gonna be a huge lifesaver. Okay, so let's get into the power plant. This is HP Omen. This is the laptop that I utilize uh, for my editing software. This has got 512 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of memory. Um, it is quite a beast of a laptop, which is needed to run any editing software. The editing software I typically use is DaVinci Resolve or Filmora. I use those back to back and intertwine the two. Now DaVinci Resolve is a free download. If you're interested, just put it in your search browser and look for the DaVinci Resolve 17 by Blackmagic Design. Once you get there, just scroll down and you'll see the download now button. Click that and just follow through with the prompts. Now this program is not very user friendly. It is quite complicated. It's an extremely powerful tool, which I cannot believe that it's free download. You'll find more tutorials on YouTube than you will on the actual program itself. Now the other program I use is Filmora. So once again, just put it in your search bar and look for Wondershare Filmora. Filmora is not free, so you'll either have to join up for one of their plans or just do the free trial program. Now, this software works much like uh, DaVinci Resolve. 
Uh, it looks the same, it acts the same, however, there are a lot of features that make it much more user friendly, such as the top bar, you can select of different titles, transitions, and effects, all which are plug and play. You can really create a dynamic video using this software. Okay, everybody, that about concludes uh, the explanation of all my camera gear here. Uh, I really do apologize that I couldn't go into depth more about some of the features that uh, uh, each camera has. Uh, unfortunately, uh, my level just isn't there yet. Uh, I do appreciate you guys uh, checking out all these videos as I learn and uh, create new videos. Hopefully, they're going to get better and better. Uh, so, as always, I've put together a, a little video here at the end uh, to uh, show you guys uh, the beautiful uh, Eastern Oregon around here and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show which camera that I'm using for each shot. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoy. Thank you.